Let's go straight, actually, to the halving or the halvening. Yep. What do you make of that? Yeah, it happens every four are you years. A, are you a believer in the logic behind it? Yes, it, it makes sure like central governments can keep producing uh, new currency, which creates inflation. Bitcoin was created the other way to reduce the supply, which makes it more deflationary. So it's a great mechanism they built into the system, and it happens every four years. And it's scheduled to happen next April 27th, around roughly that date. And so right around a year from now. And you're going to start seeing a lot of media frenzy start happening six months to, you know, round that should start happening. And then you'll start seeing the price run up a little bit. Look, Sonny, to overall think about how much we've seen this torrid time within crypto, whether it's actually the likes of Bitcoin, ETH, sort of taking up a lot of the oxygen in the room when it comes to allocation at the moment, or at least where the rallies have been. Then there's also the question we were just talking about, the fact that a lot of crypto players find themselves without the banking infrastructure they were used to, the signatures, the silver bank, sil the overall silver gates as well. How difficult is it in the crypto space for you? It, it, it's very bad. So my company, we just raised a $4 million seed round. We did it in 45 days, which is great, from an all-star team of crypto investors as well as traditional investors. But the mood has definitely changed. The banking regulations have become increasingly hard. Getting banks is increasingly hard. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong for the crypto industry. And yet the price of Bitcoin has rallied right. from 16000 to almost 30000 in the last six months, which is pretty remarkable. And I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin hits 40000 this year. Can, can I just jump in on that seed stage? Just broadly speaking, how difficult was that following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. I don't know how, for how long you were negotiating the round, but you're basically taking a crypto proposition to investors who are uh, a bit more cautious than perhaps they previously were in that industry. Yes, it was much harder. And we wanted to get a mix of crypto investors as well as Silicon Valley investors. And the Silicon Valley investors might have loved the idea, but they're no longer doing crypto investing anymore. A lot of teams right. said they're now doing AI and pivoted. So it's much more difficult that way. And we were ready to wire our money the day before SVB had the issues, and we're going to SVB too. So we had to delay that three weeks too. So again, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong in the crypto space for the last year, I would say. And that's not even talking about some of the overall regulatory headwinds that still everyone is very worried about when it comes to how people are going to analyze, the SEC is going to look at some of these crypto assets. All these headlines, you see Gemini thinking of a non-US based derivative platform. We know that other key players are looking at licenses, crypto licenses in Bermuda. How tempting is it to take whatever you're building out of the United States? Yeah, and again, companies like Coinbase, Gemini, my previous company, BitPay, we try to play by the rules, work with the SEC. We all got New York Bit licenses. We're trying to do it the right way. But I think the SEC is now really getting a little harder to work with, and they keep changing their mind on things. And for companies like Coinbase or Gemini, it's trying to keep growing during crypto winter. It's hard for them to get full clarity on what to do. That's why they're looking offshore. And again, FTX, USA, FTX which went out of business, was created because a company called BitMEX ran into issues. And now with FTX gone, there's really a void in the international trading markets that's going to Binance instead. And companies like Gemini and Coinbase see a big opportunity if they can get, get this derivatives market and things like that that Binance has been focusing on.